Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card, we are taking a look at things that the person on your mind wishes that they said. So this has actually been requested quite a bit and I don't normally do pick a cards like this um, that much anymore. Um, but I wanted to do a lighter hearted one because I'm filming two today so I wanted to kind of balance it out. And I know this has been requested so I thought coming back after my week break i would um jump in with this uh topic so we're gonna get straight in pile number one is the lipstick pile number two is the mouse pile number three is the perfume and pile number four is the shell so see which object you're drawn to keep your person in mind that you wanted to ask about when you get into the video um when you're picking your pile and yeah we'll see you guys at your timestamps Hey Palwyn, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what your person wishes they said or could have said, what they were holding back um, and what they wish they could say now. So you guys chose the lipstick. I'm going to start with tarot and then we're going to move on to your oracle cards. So let's get in. So pile number one, please, for guides, the lipstick pile. Tap me into my pile number ones, please. Tap me into the collective of my pile number one. Straight away, I'm being shown a sunflower. Um, I feel like with this person, because I, I feel like with this person, they don't voice a lot of what they're feeling or what they're thinking. But when I'm tapping into you guys and being shown a sunflower and I literally feel like there's a light beaming on me and it's making me think like, what I would want to say is that you're somebody that's very warm and somebody that shone a lot of light or brought a lot of light to my life when you were in it. That's one thing that I want to say um, straight away because I'm straight away being shown a sunflower. I feel really warm. Um, like I literally feel when I'm basking in that, like I'm being shown sunlight on my skin and I feel like the minute the sunlight is hitting, I feel like I can do anything. So I don't know if you hype this person up or you just, you know, really used to stick up for this person or really, you know, used to give them compliments or it could have just been the way you looked at life being very optimistic. Um, that could have rubbed up on, off on this person because I feel like I'm looking at you and you kind of like lighten me up, if that makes sense. So that's something that I'm picking up straight away. Pile number one, please, for your guides. What would pile number one's person say if they could? What does pile number one's person wish they said? What does pile number one's person wish they said? Okay, we have the five of cups. What does pile number one's person wish they said? We have the knight of swords. We have the five of pentacles. Pile number one's person, we have the Six of Cups. And one more card. One more card, please, Spirit Guides. What does Pile number one's person wish they said? We have the Six of Swords as well. Okay. Back of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. Okay, yeah, this person feels very analytical, like there's a lot that goes on in their head, like there's, there's so much going on in my brain that I'm not speaking out so much, because I feel like when you are in this person's life, because this kind of feels like this person isn't in your life now, or at least it's very like sporadic, like they're not around you that much, because I keep feeling like there would have been like an area or a time period when they when you were in their life a lot more and it's interesting because when I'm being shown their view of you and what they would want to say in th those terms, it's like there's like this optimism, there's like this bright light, like there's this kind of like courageous feeling that I'm getting, like you make me feel confident, you make me feel happy. But when I'm actually tapping into them, it's almost like the sunlight goes and I feel kind of grey, but I'm in my mind. So they feel very analytical. Um, it could be very like merc mercurial, um, so like Virgo Gemini. Um, but yeah, I feel very analytical, but to the point that it's it's bordering on almost like pessimistic like I feel anything that I'm doing it's almost like I'm a perfectionist so I feel like you being in my life whether it, this was like a friendship or a relationship or whatever it was I feel like I'm looking at the negative or I'm looking at what could go wrong like I very much have that perfectionistic cap on and I'm looking more towards myself but then it's spilling on to other people because I'm it's like I don't want to fail or I don't want to be wrong um so I feel like I'm looking around 
at my life I'm looking at you know this situation and it's like what I could bring to the situation and I'm almost like beating myself down so it's almost like I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you like this sunflower I'm seeing you like this bright light but then it's like I'm I don't feel like I have anything at, to add to that then of value like it's almost like that light is almost making me feel insecure in a way even though I feel like what they would say is that you brought a lot of joy you brought a lot of optimism you brought like I feel very courageous I almost feel like I'm watching you and maybe things that you do or things that you say and it's like I don't know why I want to use the word brave or it's like there's something there about you being brave or very courageous I feel like that's something they'd even want to say to you now because maybe they've watched you or seen you since I definitely do feel like this person does feel like they're a little bit on social media or they ask, they may ask a lot about you because there's this feeling of I know what you're up to or I know what you're doing now because I feel like I'm aware of like moves that you've made or things that you've done and that brave, courageous feeling is coming through that I would want to say to you that you're very brave, that you've, you know, gone through a lot. I'm literally thinking of that guy was from Sword in the Stone. You know, when he pulls the sword out, they're looking at you like that. And I feel like that's something that they'd want to reference. And it's interesting because at the same time, they're referencing that you brought that to me. But then it's almost like I didn't feel like, like you put the sword in my hand, but I didn't feel like I was worthy of using the sword, if that makes sense. So in that aspect, like you could have big this person up and let's say this was a relationship and you were, you know, showing up for this person and, you know, breathing life into this person and giving them compliments or whatever. It's like you made them feel that way, but then it was almost like they didn't have the courage to fully step into it. It's like you bought them the sword, but they didn't have the courage to really like, what's it called? Wield it? I'm sure that's the word. That's how it's kind of like coming through in a way. Um, and because I keep being shown a glove and it's like my hand doesn't fit the glove, but it's more so my mind. This person gets caught in their mind a lot. And I do feel like that's something that they would maybe even pass on to you now is that I was really in my head or I had like insecurities or I just wanted to make sure that this was set in stone before I jumped forward to, you know, this connection or this friendship or whatever it was. Or I wasn't fully my, you know, my best self or confident in myself because I was insecure because I wasn't making X amount of money or I wasn't making the very focused on like status, how I'm coming across, how I look to others. And it's creating a fog within them. Um, whereas I feel like you're, they're viewing you as your light coming from within. Whereas like they're feeling like there's a storm within, if that makes sense. Um, and I feel like a lot of that affected whatever would have happened between you and this person and them really um, stepping out into their full potential. Because I do feel as well, there's a big focus on like worrying about going down the wrong path or doing the quote unquote wrong thing. They feel very focused on that. And wrong and right is very subjective to the person. So maybe that right thing to do was to have a certain type of connection or to have not been too focused on friendships in that moment and been focused on their studies or their work or whatever it was. Like their version of the right thing might have been at the expense of maybe your feelings. And I feel like they're kind of like aware of that, but they're referencing um like I didn't want to mess up I didn't want to do the wrong thing or I got myself in a mess and I was like th there's a big focus on that that I feel like I almost want to relay to you but it where it's coming from it's like um there's like a lot of clouded vision like I literally feel like I'm studs it's funny because the king of swords isn't here but what I'm being shown in my mind's eye is the king of swords but the sword is like wheeled in this fog to where it's almost like I'm being shown the King of Swords card with like a tornado around it. It's creating this fog and it's causing more chaos than it needs to. And I feel like that's something that they would want to pass on. Like I wasn't where I needed to be and I was just getting myself in a mess. And I know you saw this in me, but I didn't feel like I could reach that or I didn't feel like I could be the best partner or the, the best friend or whatever it was. Like th there's a lot of that. And it's almost like th there is a bit of people pleaser energy coming through. And I feel like, because there's this feeling of even though I try to please everybody, I still didn't please everybody. Um, it still came at the expense of other things. I'm being shown like a weight dealt with like loads of plates in their hands, trying to do the most um, and not wanting to fail. And then one or two plates like fall off. Like that's what they're kind of referencing. You might have been the plate that fell off um, because it's like I've got a lot going on and I'm trying to juggle it and I'm not showing up as like the best version because I'm trying to be the best in, in every situation but it's like master of what is what was I saying like master of what is it something of all trades master of none I can't remember what jack of all trades master of none that's it um that's how it's coming through and I feel like they pass that on 
um because i i feel like i'm being taken to a time period where it's like everything was chaotic there was a lot going on you know what i mean there was a lot happening um there was a lot of chaos there was a lot of you know thoughts in my brain i didn't feel like i could live up to this i didn't feel like i could live up to this there's a lot there um that i feel like they'd want to let you know but they still keep referencing that you were that light like you were that kind of like golden hue um and i do feel like you still maybe inspire this person as well that's another thing that i want to say um because i feel like you know like i saw something the other day and it was like a poster and it's like what would tupac do but that's kind of like in my brain what i feel like i'm doing like what would my pal number ones do in this situation because i feel like i'm still looking to you for some sense of inspiration whether i'm thinking back to things you've already said to me or i'm aware of what you're doing now and it's kind of like making me want to make those leaps and make those jumps so i feel like there's some sort of like it feels like pride but then there's also like a kind of like gratitude as well because I feel like I'm looking to you and you're mirroring that like back to me and maybe now I can actually step into it that's kind of like how they feel um I do feel like they're definitely aware of um of maybe what you're up to to be honest with you with this energy that I'm in I definitely feel like I'm aware of what you're doing what you're up to all of that and I do think they play back because the thing is I feel like this person doesn't like to cause the mess that they get themselves into they do feel very like people pleaser -y, if that makes sense so it's like I, if i know i've hurt someone if i know i've annoyed someone or if i know that i didn't do my best in the situation i don't like that and i feel like even if they do try to like consciously push that down or ignore it i feel like it does come up especially with the four of swords being at the back of the deck and the five of pentacles in the middle of this reading if this person's not in your life they do take you not being there as a loss with that five of pentacles i do think they think back to you then with the six of um cups going into the six of swords and i do think like they analyze it a lot we've got the four of swords at the back of the deck i do feel like they analyze this situation a lot and what could i have done differently and this was happening and i was focused on this and i should have been focused on this and my priorities weren't here or i was trying to please everyone like there's a lot of that going on um that i feel like they've gone round and round and round in circles in terms of how things would have fallen because i'm hearing like that's the way the cookie crumbles but it's like but why did it crumble that way like i feel like they've thought about that if that makes sense there have there's a lot of thought attached to this i wouldn't say there's too much emotions the six of cups is here i wouldn't say there's too much emotion but i would say that um they do analyze it and i do feel like there might be a wound or two attached to this situation as well that they might end up working through it feels like it'll come later on so i feel like if they're not fully um because i don't feel right now they because i'm hearing um nomani song waves and she sings you come in waves i don't feel right this second um that you're tuning in that this person's like you know completely thinking about you all the time i don't think that's the case right now um because i feel very like busy bees and i feel like their mind's kind of everywhere but i think there's going to come a point in the future because i'm being shown it energetically where whatever they would have repressed in terms of you maybe feelings for some of you guys it's feelings for some of you guys it's just like um you know becoming aware of certain behaviors and having to pass that through or um it could be just the consequence of their own actions that's what i'm hearing from spirit they're going to have like a wave of emotions that flow through and i think they're gonna have to work through um these kind of feelings then um it feels in the future though i'm not being shown a time frame it's just an energy that will come out when it's time um and i think then i think you might be on their mind a little bit as they pass through those emotions um but right now it's more it's a more like an a thing that like at night or when I'm on my own I'm analyzing and then I'm like putting it back in a box I don't think they're going too deep into much right now um but I do think they go around like a situation and how it fell and I wasn't putting my best energy in but you were you know a bright light and it's almost like you saw a lot of me that maybe I didn't see too I feel like they'd reference that as well um because I kind of feel like I almost feel slightly as well like maybe you're seeing more in me than I am if that makes sense or maybe you're like they might have felt like you were projecting more onto them than what they were um and that could have been the case uh but it's almost like I don't f I'm not fit in the mold I don't quite fit this mold or they could have even talked themselves up um and then it's like now I've got this big mold and big pair of boots I gotta fit into because I talk myself up so it could be that as well but that's how it feels they f that they feel like 
your energy and their energy was imbalanced. They feel kind of insecure. And there might have even been a bit of self-sabotage in this situation as well. Because um, even when you think of, like, you choosing the lipstick, like, yes, we can put music makeup on to, like, feel, like, pretty and things like that. But we also can use costume makeup to dress up as something. Um, and this person might have, like, felt like they had bigged up, like, a role and then felt like they couldn't fit into it, if that makes sense. Um, pile number one. If pile number one's person could say something, what would they say? Or does pile number one's person wish they said? I don't think they were fully transparent with you in terms of, like, um, like, when this... I feel like, I, like there was a tower moment in the situation. Because I feel like I'm trying to act like I have it all together and I don't. And it's making me look shadier than I am. Um, because I feel like I'm not being transparent with you know, where I am and what I'm up to, but I'm trying to please everyone, you know? Um, I'm trying to keep it all together. And then it's making me look worse than I am, if that makes sense. Like, it's making me look more dodgy than it needed to be, or it made me look like I wasn't being loyal. Um, but I was, it was just, I was trying to please everyone. Um, yeah, that's kind of what's happening here because I, I literally feel like i've got two i'm being shown the two of pentacles like i feel like i've got so much on my plate that i'm not showing up for certain people and i feel like you're one of the people they might not have shown up for pile number one i'm here in rack and ball when miley Cyrus says i didn't mean to start a war i just wanted you to let me in i just shared that part um from rack and ball pile number Okay, well, straight away we have self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Yeah, I feel like this person had low self-esteem. I feel like this person might have sometimes bigged themselves up more than what they were or offered more than what they actually had just to make themselves kind of like feel better. We have regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Um, Two more cards, please, spirit guides. Pile number two. What would pile number two... Um, we have change I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement and then reversed we have patience I accept that everything happens in divine order the back of the deck we have abundance I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality okay um like I said about self-esteem I don't I just don't feel like this person this person may have acted confident like you may have been none the wiser this person could have acted calm cool collected all the time this is not how they were feeling inside even if they put on a good show like I said I feel like this sometimes they might have I feel like sometimes they try and match your energy too um but I feel like this person was quite insecure or just didn't feel like they had everything together and I think they might have put a lot of their worth I feel like they still might even put their worth in what they have or what they've achieved I feel like that's still something that they may um be working through to be honest with you I do because I feel like they've the reason I feel like they regret certain ways that they moved is because I feel like they go back and analyze the situation. How did I drop that plate? What was I not, you know, what effort was I not putting into holding that plate? Like, how did that plate fall? Like, what did I do? How could I have gone about it? Like, I feel like I've kind of gone around, you know, maybe I shouldn't have just picked it up in the first place. Maybe I should have just left it down, but I wanted the plate. So maybe I should have put it at the front instead of at the back. But then what plate would I have put at the back? Something would have fell. Like, I feel like I'm still going round and round um because it's weird it's like I regret things but I kind of don't know fully what I regret I know I should have done things differently but I also don't know what other way I could have done it because then my life wouldn't be as it is now so there's a lot of that that they feel um in terms of that um change I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement I do feel in some way they feel like for both of you whatever happened might needed to have happened and I feel like they might say that like maybe that needed to happen so I learned this and you learned this I feel like that's something they might pass on or say um or like I feel like if they go into that pessimistic energy it could be like you were better without me you know you were better just shining your energy you know out there but then I also feel like in a more lighter energy it could be like maybe we just needed to be on you know different paths I do feel like they tie with that as well and I feel like that's something they might say um and it's interesting with the patience card reverse because I feel like I don't know if this person sometimes said um like if since there's a connection or relationship they might have been like oh I'm not ready right now but I will be 
um or like if this was a friend like yeah i'll start coming out or i'll start doing things you know soon and then it just never happened because it's almost like i want something right now but i don't feel ready for it like this person feels like their happiness and confidence is tied to their achievements and it's like i can't have this right now because i need this or i'm not worthy of this type of connection because i haven't done this that's how they feel um that's how they feel and that's why the patient's card is i i, I feel like there was a level of self-sabotage to a degree um yeah i don't think they'd say that though because this feels like more something that's subconscious so i don't think that they tell you like i don't think that's something they wish they said oh it was self-sabotage i think they would just say that they weren't ready at the time um for something that's how it feels so pile number one that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching now to welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at what your person wishes they said so you guys chose the mouse the little mouse ornament i'm gonna start with tarot and then we're gonna move on to your oracle card so let's get in so pile number two please for it guys pile number two pile number two tap me into the collective of my pile number twos what does pile number two's person wish they said what does pile number two's person wish that they said? We have the five of swords. What does pile number two's person wish that they said? Six of cups. What does pile number two's person wish that they said? Two of pentacles. I'm going to move them over a little bit just so I can fit them all in um what is pile number two's person i feel like the minute i tapped into your like this energy of, of your person i feel very like solemn if that's the word like i feel like i feel like i kind of struggle with my emotions if that makes sense like i struggle tapping into them when i'm tapping into your person um because as you guys know i like i sit in the energy and then i read it and i'll like channel bits but in this energy I, I almost feel like i'm sat in the energy but it's almost like it's as if it's frozen over i don't feel like anything's really flowing and i kind of feel like things haven't been flowing for some time it's making me think of like a pond that isn't connected to any other outlet of water to flow like there's no stream there's no river it's just a pond so there's no in and out it's just the same stagnant kind of water that's kind of like how i feel um we have the nine of pentacles And we have the Three of Pentacles as well. The back of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Okay, Five of Swords, Six of Cups, Two of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. It's interesting. I feel like I'm stuck in what would be the murky water you know i like to use that analogy it's like a murky kind of like pond water I, I feel like i'm just sat in it and i don't even feel like i'm avoiding anything necessarily because i don't feel like i'm running away from like i'm looking at like a situation that's happened and i'm, I'm aware of like what i've done so this isn't somebody that's like running away from like their participation in something like whatever happened with you and this person i don't feel like they're running from it i don't feel like they're necessarily like avoiding it um like i'm aware of it because i'm looking at it uh but i also kind of like feel stuck like i don't know what to do like i'm being trying to pair of boots in quicksand kind of like well i'm stuck here like i kind of feel like necessarily kind of like i've made my bed um i feel like i'm I was getting too cocky and now i'm like in this web if that makes sense because i feel very very stuck and i kind of don't know what to do now if that makes sense like i don't even feel like there is anything to do now um and maybe there's a level of pride here as well where i just kind of feel this bear with me guys because this one's a really hard one to get into because I would say it's pride but i don't really feel like it's necessarily fully coming from there it's hard for me to really feel you know into what's coming through because it's like this person's 
why is this person's energy so heavy spirit guides why can i not really feel too much like i almost feel like i've repressed so much that it's almost congested so it's like how could i really even feel into this i don't know why this has come up in a reading before i can't remember what reading it was but it was the um analogy of like if you've ever watched nemo they go into this part of the ocean where there's loads of jellyfish around and they're just moving really slowly um and that's where i feel like the jellyfish because if you think of water that's the subconscious mind and if you think of like jellyfish as like little bits of like memories that are like down in the subconscious so think of like that scene from nemo where there was just thousands of jelly jellyfish just slowly moving they weren't going with the tides and flow and they were literally just stagnantly moving that's how i feel in this energy so there's lots of jellyfish around me and i'm aware that they're there they're moving but so slowly because there's so many of them think of it like a traffic jam you can't move your car fast because there's so many cars so it's like i'm stuck in this and i feel like i would say something very matter of fact with little emotion because it's like yeah i know i messed up like yeah i know like yeah i know like I, yeah i know i shouldn't have done that like yeah i know like that's just how it happened like i feel very matter of fact here um because i I don't think necessarily this person dwells on what they wish they said. I know that's the point of the reading. It's more so like, I know what I could have done. I know what I should have done. I feel like it's more that. And I feel like they'd say it very matter-of-factly. Um, I don't think this person's too... Because I feel like I turned my back on something. I feel like I walked away from something. Especially with this Five of Swords here. Like I feel like I turned my back, but it's like... I know I shouldn't have done that. Like, look at his face. You know what I mean? It's like, I know I shouldn't have done that. I know I shouldn't have done that. And I feel like I'm looking back at maybe, like, memories or, like, little aspects of this connection, whatever it was, family situation, relationship, friendship. But it's almost like I'm reviewing it and it's like... I'm getting somewhat of an emotion out of it, but not necessarily. Like, you know when you're in pain or you're purging or you're hurting and you feel emotions really deeply? Like... I feel like I'm rarely tapping into that because it's it's like I'll get like a flicker of it but not too much and trigger warning I don't know if this person may turn to like substances to numb things um it wouldn't shock me for some of you guys if that was the case because I feel like I numb a lot so then I'm looking at things very like black and white if that makes sense like I'm just looking at it it's just like a passing emotion I feel like there's a lot going on in this person's kind of like subconscious and even in their emotional body that everything just feels so stagnant that honestly it's not so much like words coming out like I wish I said this I wish I said that and I wish I could get that for you but that's not what's coming through and I can only read what's coming through it's more so because I feel like I'm looking at like what even could be now especially with this nine of pentacles here like if you see the bird in the cage it's like looking at like what could be now um and what could even be built now like i know i could like reach out and you know make that you know start the connection again or maybe we could build from here or we could go from there but it's almost like i feel stuck like i feel like my boots are in the sand and i can't kind of move like i feel very numb and i'm just kind of watching um so i don't know if you've like opened a door for this person or you've held out like a you know a hand or all the branch to this person or they feel like you would easily do it but it's almost like I feel st I kind of feel stuck in my own apathy I feel stuck in like well I'm I messed it up and I, like I don't know why I'm seeing your energy like okay but the door's open and they're just like oh well I just messed it up like there's just no going back like they feel very stuck in that very stuck in their own like quicksand it's like my boots it's like my boots are stuck in the quicksand but I can take my boots off and run really quickly and get out but it's almost like I feel like what's the point like that's honestly the feeling that I'm in it's just like I'm just gonna let the quicksand just kind of take me I'm just gonna let this kind of like fall away but it's like their own kind of like pessimism I don't know if this is like a family connection because this feels more family to be honest with you but it, it's like they're not choosing to make that shift and change because let's take a look at why I know this is a completely different reading than you asked for sorry if you came for something else but this is what's coming through so I'm just gonna I'm gonna just trust that this is what you need to hear or this is gonna give you some clarity and we'll just go with that but 
pile number two why is this person not jumping out of the quicksand please spirit guys why are they not making that shift why are they not jumping out why are they not jumping out why are they staying stuck spirit guys why are my pile two staying stuck we have page of pentacles why am I telling them? There's like an avoidance of life, I feel. Or avoidance of being vulnerable. Or the minute we get that emotional wheel turning, all these jellyfish are going to come out. Like, there's a lot of that. I feel like I'm avoiding anything like that. We have the tower. Why is this person not jumping out of the quicksand? Please for it, guys. Um, we have the nine of cups. Why is this person not... It's like a belief system as well. We have judgment. It's like a belief system of like, I don't deserve this. The emperor at the back of the deck. Yeah, it's almost like I don't deserve this. I don't deserve... Like it's inward. It's like an insecurity. But it feels lodged near the heart space. Um, It's like I don't feel worthy of love. Or I don't feel worthy of um receiving that back. Or like that, you know sister sister bond or mother daughter bond or father son bond or father daughter bond or you know whatever it is or that friendship bond or even that relationship it's like i don't i don't know if you've shown them a lot of grace i don't know if you've held out all the branches because i literally feel like there's a wound and whatever it is you're pouring onto it which would be healing it's almost like i'm running from the sting because even if i did open to this it's all it, one it's too painful because it's hitting something very deep and then second of all the other jellyfish will come up then if that makes sense like we'll have to also address the many jellyfish in the room <laughs> and work through that sort of thing so it's almost like there's too much i'm burying it down um that's kind of like where it's it's kind of coming from um I don't know if this person sometimes self-sabotages in terms of like relationships, goes towards relationships that are quite, um, there's like a power dynamic where maybe they're not getting so much or it could be like, again, they could go towards other family members. If this is a family situation with people that aren't giving like them so much or they feel like they need to overgive to prove themselves sort of thing. Again, with friendships, it could be the same situation. Um, but for you, like, I feel like I'm looking at you and I, I don't know why I'm seeing, honestly, the way that you're coming through, I'm being shown like a sink with loads of muck inside and you're like that water resolver that goes down and clears the sink. Like, it's almost like I'm looking to you like that. You're like a slither of like, kind of like light. Um, but it's like, I'm looking at that as painful at the same time or I don't feel worthy of it. I, it's like I feel safe being detached. I feel safe going down with the quicksand. It's like I, it's almost kind of like a safety net to stay in this kind of like numb feeling. It's almost like I don't feel necessarily worthy. That's kind of how this is kind of coming through. And again, I know this isn't what the topic of the reading was, but sometimes readings go in a different direction. And I feel like this might bring some clarity to you especially if this person not showing up or being around you made you feel insecure or made you feel like you weren't worthy i think this reading might be coming through to be like this wasn't about like you in that sense like it wasn't that you weren't worthy or you weren't you know deserving it was this person not feeling that way um or not being able to evolve or, or you know jump out of those boots they were caught up in their own emotions it wasn't because you weren't worthy sort of thing um I think that's the point of this reading for a lot of you guys. It might be quite healing. Um, could be triggering too. But I think it could be very healing um, for a lot of you guys. Especially for your inner child. Because um, whether this is a connection that mirrors a wound from childhood. Or whether this is somebody that you're connected to in childhood. Which I feel like it might be. Or at least it's from a connection that mirrored that wound. Because I feel like this is connecting with your inner child. Um... I feel from your end there's a subconscious wound or maybe it's something you know that you're working on which is like kind of the same wound that they have but I feel like you're more open to allowing the emotions to pass through which is like maybe not feeling worthy of love because maybe there's that fear of rejection where a parent stepped away or pulled back or maybe this is the parent and they weren't able to show up for you and I feel like you understanding and your inner child understanding it wasn't me it wasn't that i wasn't worthy i feel like that might be quite freeing um even if it does trigger at first i feel like it might be freeing um for you as well um 
so you can kind of take that need of that like love making you feel full take that out of them um and place it back in yourself and know that you begin with love and you end with love because that's why i feel like this is coming from honestly let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to do an inner child reading or a healing reading like that um just let me know if you'd like me to go deeper if you have any questions that you'd like me to take a look at because i can do that for you guys um pile number two what does pile number two's person um wish they said tap me more into this person's energy what do they wish they said what else can you tell me about this person we have fear yeah fear i realize that i'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love we have pride i love myself and i see myself in everyone oh goodness we have balance i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment so one more card we have acceptance i am learning to accept the things that i cannot change okay fear i realize that i'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of i feel like i'm looking away when i'm tapping into them like the most craziest things happening and it's almost just like i'm detached like i'm just looking away like i'm able to just detach from it um and i think that might be a coping mechanism maybe from childhood i'll just detach i'll just pull back or i'll just run off um i'll pretend like it's not happening and i think they they feel very detached and avoidant right now and for some it feels as far as like avoidant of life i just feel avoidant of being out there and showing up as my best self like i just want to avoid that that's kind of how it's coming through um and that's where that fear then is coming from because i feel like this is something that they would have learned in childhood like well we just detach we just let go we just kind of put a shutter on and i feel like it was out of fear in their childhood and i feel like they still use that coping mechanism today um I think sometimes it may show up as pride it may look like they're being too prideful to own up to something or too prideful but it's coming from a wound of like it's not necessarily pride though it could maybe show up as that in the later aspect but i feel if we go really really deep because all emotions are connected to deeper emotions and as above so below so if we go really really deep it's coming from that fear and that avoidance um but the it's coming out as pride like oh i didn't do anything wrong or i I'm just living my life like i don't need to be weighed down with these emotions but inside they feel very stuck you know um and with balance and acceptance i just feel like they like i feel like that's their way of pushing through um remember those things back in the day and it was like keep calm and carry on or something like that i can't remember i'm hearing that like maybe that's what they were taught just push it down put, keep going um but i feel there's a lack of balance there's a lack of like connection in their energy right now they feel so stagnant there's not a lot of new water going into this pond it's very murky and i think there's a lot of things maybe they haven't accepted because it was too painful to accept um and maybe it's some of their own behaviors um but it's almost like i'm trying not to look at it like i'm a, the big word for this is avoidance i'm avoiding it because then it's painful to actually accept something you know um yeah so pile number two i'm sorry if this didn't turn out the way that you needed it i hope that you got everything that you needed from the reading what i meant to say was i'm sorry this didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to um but like i said i hope you got everything you needed um and let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to do an inner child reading or if you'd like me to do like a reading going deeper on those energies let me know what you'd like me to take a look at and yeah i will see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching Hey Pile 3, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what your person wishes they said. So you guys chose the perfume. I'm going to start with Tarot and then we're going to move on to your Oracle card. So let's get in. So Pile number 3. Pile number 3, please for guys. What is Pile number 3's person wish they said? what does pile number three's person wish they said oh goodness your card just jumped in the air 
one thing that i will say about your pile is i've had a lot of distractions trying to get into your pile my cards fell out of my hands and splattered everywhere there's just been a lot of noises outside that i've been more conscious of um just lots of like false starts and a lot of like almost people and just energies getting in the way of this reading um which i feel like may pertain to the reading or maybe um because i feel like i was getting distracted and it's quite interesting because you have the six of wands um but if you see the cat play and it's like I'm, i feel like i'm getting distracted by things i feel like my energy is not maybe where it needs to be uh, my energy feels like it's kind of like all over the place or i'm just getting distracted by other things um that's how i feel when i'm tapping into this person pile number three please spirit guides what would pile number three's person say if they could what does pile number three's person wish they said ace of pentacles um we have the seven of wands as well pile number three's person please spirit guides pile number three's person we have justice um and we have the ten of swords okay um back of the deck you have the six of swords as well okay um i'm not gonna lie when i tap into your person they feel a little kind of like all over the place i feel like sometimes their thoughts and feelings and things that they wish that they said would be dependent on kind of like how they're feeling in that moment um because i feel like in the energy that i'm in it feels very airy but i also feel like i'm like my circumstance is changing how i'm viewing things or how i'm looking at things so if i'm um like i, I feel like one minute i'm looking at what would have happened with you and it's like you're the bad guy but then i'm looking at the situation i was like oh okay maybe i was a bad guy maybe i shouldn't have done this but then the next minute it's, it's like no you're the bad guy i i I don't feel this person's too like emotionally intelligent um and i don't think there's too much even emotion connected to this reading um so i don't think that what they wish they said would be connected necessarily to their emotions to be honest with you um i feel like they get distracted a lot i i do feel if anything did happen where maybe they did you wrong i feel like sometimes they struggle to see where they might have gone wrong because with the six of um the six of wands going into the ace of pentacles and then it going straight into the seven of wands i literally feel like my energy isn't really where it needs to be um so then i feel like do you see how the hands there with the cat but it almost looks like the cat's being denied the the biscuit right if you look at the cat's eyes so it's almost like they're almost like they would have lost access to you or they might not have got what they wanted like you might have pulled back or you might have put them in that place because i almost i'm not gonna lie i kind of feel like i'm sulking a little bit and i feel like out of nowhere now i'm on the defense with the seven of wands i feel like out of nowhere this has just come out of nowhere but it's because my mind wasn't really where it needed to be or i wasn't investing so much in the situation but it's almost like i'm not because if you look at the justice card and the hands there and the cat's biting the hand i feel like i'm biting the hand that feeds me type of thing um like i feel like i'm not how do I put this into words? I feel like there's something this person might still not get. I feel like there's a little bit emotionally immature. So I feel like in terms of what they wish they said, I don't know why I feel like I'm looking at a connection with you and there's still a battleground. So I don't know if the situation's still fresh. But I almost feel like I'm looking at a situation with you as a battleground and I almost feel like I want to come out of this as right, like I was right in a way. And I feel like that energy does sometimes change so they may fall into, you know what, I shouldn't have done this or I shouldn't have done that. But they feel very fickle. So very quickly they jump out of it and they're like, well actually, I, you know, yes I shouldn't have done this but you shouldn't have done this first. They feel very like that. I feel very tit for tat. I feel very like... I'm ready for battle. I feel very, I mean, the seven of wands is in the middle of the reading. I, I still feel like there's a level of pride. Um, and if there was like some sort of argument, because I feel like if I was to speak to you again in this energy, there would be an argument. And I kind of think of like, yeah, well, you should, like you did this, you did that. Like I'm almost thinking of, you, you know, those memes and it's like me thinking of those things I wish I said in an argument like years ago. I feel like sometimes they may still, like replay a situation or try and like 
argue back at the wall in, in a sense of like things like that they should have added um they feel very prideful i don't feel like and maybe their pride is justified you'll know if it's if it's not um you know maybe they had rightful things to say that they didn't get to say but then it could also be they're not looking at their own because one thing that i will say is that they feel like they're like the ace of pentacles here and the justice card and biting the hand that feeds me i kind of feel like i'm a victim like you're, that you're not giving me something you're not giving me access to something with this ace of pentacles i feel like i'm not getting access i feel like especially with the justice card and the biting the hand that feeds you it's like i feel like maybe you would have wanted like a balanced connection or you would have put in boundaries like i'm putting in this you should put in that you're maybe getting distracted or your energy isn't where it needs to be and it's almost like oh my god you're pulling back i kind of feel like i wanted 70 30 type of thing like that's kind of like how it feels because i feel like something that you've taken from me or something that you've pulled back or maybe even something that you've said to me it's almost like i don't like that i'm still looking at it like it's some sort of argument um I want to pull three cards and just see your perspective to see if this is actually an argument but from that energy alone i feel like this is an argument and i feel like if i was to speak to you again you'd have some things to say to me so it's almost like i want to be prepped and primed for like what i would say back to you i feel like you're not like you don't like me i feel like you're annoyed with me i feel like all of these things so i feel like a lot of what they wish they said it's more so like they're prepping what they think you would say to them if that makes sense um okay um pile number three can you tap me into my actual pile number threes now like their energy towards the situation just so i can get a balanced view um what is pile number three's energy towards this um situation we have the magician what is pile number three's energy towards this situation we have the queen of wands Pile number three is energy towards the situation three of pentacles. I'll do one more. I just feel like it's incomplete. There we go. Page of swords. Back of the deck, you have the fool. Um, I do feel like you've kind of moved on maybe from this situation. You could just be watching this as just being a little bit nosy. Um because I feel like I'm doing this with my hands, like I'm wiping the dust off, sort of thing. You can't see my hands. I'm doing this. Like I feel like I'm wiping the dust off like i'm wiping the dead weight off it's almost like you're not um yeah see this person i feel like you've either walked away from this person you've put in boundaries or you've stepped away because this person's almost taken that as rejection and i feel like they might have like argued with you but it's out of like an insecurity type of thing um and I feel like they kind of view you as having like walked away you're done with the situation you don't want anything to do with them that's how they feel about you that you feel that way um so I feel like they might try and mirror that. But I, d I do see your energy genuinely has tapped away and moved on. Because I feel like from your energy, I feel like you're in your power. Which makes me think that you would have like put in a firm boundary. You would have pulled your energy back. You would have transmuted out of this. That's kind of how I feel. Whatever energy you were in when the situation began or whenever this fell through. You're definitely not in it now. You're in a different energy. Um, 100%. For some of you guys, if this was a relationship, this might have been a third party situation. Um, and you might have caught wind of that. Um... Or you might have felt like there was always something in the way of this friendship, relationship, whatever it was. Because I feel like you're not putting in the effort you should be. Um, but honestly, your energy feels like I've... I, I don't know if you've blocked this person. I don't know if it's just like energy-wise you've like cut cords. Or maybe you've made the effort to cut cords. Because I, I just feel like this person feels like you pulled their energy... Like you pulled your energy back. You yanked your energy back. I feel like someone's annoyed with me. Like, I feel like a head teacher's kind of, like, telling me off. And then they've just, like, walked away. And it's, like, I'm, like, frustrated and angry now. So it's almost like I'm arguing back at that now. And I feel like if I was to speak to you again, you'd have a lot to say to me. Like, you would be really annoyed with me. Like, you don't want anything to do with me. And I kind of feel like I'm mirroring that, if that makes sense. And I feel like they may move into moments where it's like, oh, you know, maybe I shouldn't have done that or whatever. But I feel like very... It's almost like very quickly I tell myself actually they shouldn't have done this to me it's almost like i'm looking for a way to bail myself out that's honestly the energy that i'm in i don't see too much self-reflection um with you guys i see your energy very firm i see your energy you're coming through quite very well i feel like your energy is still very firm um and i feel you're very protective of your energy that's kind of like how it's coming through um 
I feel like you're very, very protective. I feel like I'm pr protective of my peace. That's kind of like what I want to say. Um, so in terms of things they wish they said, I'm not going to lie. I don't think there's too much emotion from them to this situation. I don't think there's too much emotion that was invested. Um, or if it was, I don't think they tap into it too much. And I think when they think of you, even if they think of you in lighter aspect, I feel like it very quickly turns to... It's like I'm following a trail and I know where I would have messed up. But then it's almost like I'm quickly jumping to my own defense. Like I'm quickly like, well, they shouldn't have done this and they shouldn't have done that. And I know they're going to say this to me if they see me and I'm going to say this back to them. Like, that's how I feel. I feel like I'm prepped and primed, ready for battle. I'm hearing that song by Taylor Swift, The Archer, and she says, I'm ready. I'm ready for combat, I think she says. Yeah, The Archer. I mean, I'm hearing that. It's like I'm... I feel like this person might be a... Because I, I don't think they're sitting there thinking about you all the time because I think they get distracted way too much for that. But if they were to see you out and about, if they fell across your social media or you just came to mind, I feel a little bit touchy. Sorry for the noise outside. I feel a little bit touchy, like... Like I'm backed into a corner so I need to bite. So I don't know if you really went off on this person. Um... But that's how they're coming through. It's it's like, I, I'm. I, but I also feel like it's hitting a wound for them, or it hits some sort of like insecurity, or it hit like a wound where they didn't feel. I wouldn't even say it was a case of they didn't feel good enough. It's almost like I can't take criticism or I struggle with criticism, which is fine. We we all can struggle with that. It's either like I struggle with that or I fail to take maybe accountability if that makes sense unless you know that you literally went off on this person for no reason <laughs> then it would that would be the case you know that their energy is just like they went off on me and now I'm, I know what I wish I said you'll know if that's the case but for many of you I feel like this is a situation when because with the bite in the hand that feeds you that's how this feels I feel like this person might have got a bit too clever and might have just taken your energy for granted or what you're putting into the situation or they just weren't really honoring the connection the way that you were um they weren't looking out for you in the way that you were looking out for them that's kind of how it feels the energy feels a little displaced but they're still enjoying it's like having the cake and eating it too that's kind of how they feel um they feel they would have been moving but I don't know why I'm not looking too much at my own actions. I'm failing to go too deep into this. And some of them feel like they don't need to. And that you might have been at fault. But then others of them, it's like they know. But then they quickly jump. They jump to their own defense. They might have even had like, you know, sometimes when we have a parent and that parent will put us down. So then we constantly talk negatively to ourselves, even though the parent isn't around anymore. That's our makeup. Sometimes when we're young and we have someone take the accountability off us take the responsibility off us we can then struggle to take that responsibility for ourselves or take accountability for ourselves so if that parent that took it off us we can naturally take it off us moving forward so it's like that wasn't my fault you know what I mean um my younger sister whenever she does anything wrong like instead of just owning up she goes I've done nothing wrong I've done nothing wrong and it's like a running joke because she says I've done nothing wrong even though she has um that's kind of how this person feels like they may move um to be honest with you let's pull your oracle cards pile number but again you'll know if you were the one out of pocket and you were the one that genuinely did you know just poke at them but they, they're still looking at the situation like a battle but honestly I don't see that you are I just see you very like this is my energy I do feel you're very stubborn in that energy that could be a bad thing that could be a good thing especially if this person was taken from you that can be a good thing because it's like my boundaries are very much drilled into the ground my energy sure this is I'm not like budging like I'm not giving out all of this energy come correct or not at all that could be your energy now I do feel that is your energy because look at the arms folded on the fool if you could see the arms are folded it's like tucked behind me like I'm I'm comfortable in this energy I'm hearing Beyonce's song cozy comfortable in my skin um and I feel like you've also made peace with this situation as well but this person still looks at it like you're in combat for some reason when they think of you and I want to say think back to you I feel like I'm in combat 
pile number. Pile number three, please, Spirit Guides. What does pile number three's person wish they said? We have grief reversed. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Yeah, there's a lot of pride here with this person. This is the most prideful pile. We have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. We have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. One more card. Oh, goodness. Too many cards have fallen. This person gets distracted a lot. I don't know if they're just very busy or they just have like a lot of thoughts or they just jump. They could even be someone that jumps from one situation to the next. Um, especially if it's like a relationship. They could like monkey bar. Is it called monkey bar, monkey swing? From relationship to relationship or it could be like friendship to friendship. Um, we have health here as well. I will honor the physical vessel and enshrines my soul. But it's in reverse as well. And on the back of the deck, you have envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. That's what we have at the back. Okay. Okay. Um, grief, patience, blame, health. Why do we have grief reverse? If you genuinely have stepped away from them and you're like, I am genuinely done with the situation, I don't think they've actually come to terms or accepted that. They almost are telling themselves or feel like, oh, we'll speak again. We'll talk again. I know we will. Like, they've kind of, like, in their mind, even when it was happening, it was like, we'll talk again. Like, if denial was a card i feel like it would show up i don't even know if there's a denial in this deck but that's how it feels because it's almost like there's no acceptance of like i feel like anytime they might feel sad that you're not around i feel like they kind of like put a lid on it very quickly and they're like well they shouldn't have done this they shouldn't have done that like but it's a defense mechanism um to kind of like cover it up if that makes sense it feels like in the defense, like I'm just arguing something instead of actually seeing the truth of it, if that makes sense. Um, they're struggling to go too deep with that. Why do we have patience? I accept that everything happens in divine order. Why do we have patience? And then blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Why do we have patience and blame? Every time I'm looking at patience, I'm going over to blame. Why am I doing that? I accept responsibility for my well-being. I don't know if this person's kind of like left you hanging a lot because I'm being shown the hanged man. Um, Because I almost feel like having my cake and eating it too. Like, I'm not putting too much energy into this, but I still want it there. I don't know if this person breadcrumbed you. Um, because I feel like I'm stretching something out, if that makes sense. Um, but then it's like you... That's why I'm seeing your energy, like I've had enough and wiping my hands. And then it's like, well, why... Like, like it's, it's almost like they can't see, well, I shouldn't have been doing that. Or I shouldn't have been breadcrumbing. Or I shouldn't have been putting this person on ice or I shouldn't have been just holding on to this person to be there for me I shouldn't have been doing that it's almost like they're not quite accepting that it's upright so it's there I feel like they are in some ways acknowledging it but then very quickly it's it's almost like I'm pointing the finger because it's like I'm taking the fault off me it's like I'm naturally doing it which is quite interesting because every time I looked at that I was going straight to blame like straight away I was like well you shouldn't have done this it's like they're almost looking for like a fault then if that makes sense um i feel like they get a lot of repressed emotions and repressed feelings but it's not like this heavy kind of like my heart space feels very heavy it's not similar to pile number two it's more so they just i feel like i'm making a mess and i'm running away from it honestly if, if i was to put that into words like i'm making a mess and i'm running from it i'm not like learning a lesson and I'm running from it or I'm not taking responsibility for certain things I'm running away from it like I just bumped into this car but I'm just driving off type of thing like I'm not gonna take responsibility from it so I'm repressing it and I'm pretending it didn't happen but at one point that's gonna come up you know but that that's kind of how this energy feels 
Okay, I'm very much onto the next, onto the next, onto the next. I don't know if this person like plays like video games a lot. I don't know if this person just is so busy, like runs into their work. I don't like I don't know why. I just feel like I'm doing things that keep me busy. Um, they could just like doom scroll on their phone. Um, but I feel like they kind of just try to oppress and ignore certain things that come up. Um yeah so pile number three that is what i have um i'm sorry if it's not what you wanted to hear um hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you enjoyed or you got what you needed from the reading and i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey powerful welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at what your person wishes they said so you guys chose the shell I'm gonna start with tarot and then we'll move on to your oracle card. So let's get in. So pile number three, please spirit guidance. Uh, not pile number three, pile number four, please spirit guides. I kept being shown the number four. I'm like, why am I seeing that? I said three. Um, pile number four, please spirit guides. Pile number four. Tap me into the collective of my pile number four and that person. What does pile number four's person wish they said? my power fours we have the hermit pile number four please for guides we have the four of cups what is going on um we have the knight of wands pile number four please spirit guides we have the five of pentacles I feel like I'm looking at something like a missed opportunity. Um, straight away, this energy feels the most clear out of all the piles I've done so far. So whoever this person is, they're a lot more aware of their own emotions. I feel that they're a lot more aware of their thoughts. Um, and there's less repression in this pile than the other piles. The other piles got a bit murky, especially two and three. This feels very clear. So this person feels very aware of their emotions, which makes me think they either um have like matured emotionally or they may even like go to therapy or they may um you know they may just be very emotional and just allow things to flow out that could just be them uh we do have the nine of cups at the back of the deck as well um so yeah they, this, this energy does feel a lot lighter to be honest with you um Okay, so straight away I'm, I'm tapping into like a feeling of a missed opportunity. That's the first thing that I'm getting. And I almost want to express disappointment as well. So I feel like if this person was to speak to you, I feel like there'd be like disappointment in terms of like how things would have turned out. Because um, I almost feel like I have higher hopes for like for this situation than maybe what happened. Again, this can be relationship, friendship, um, family situation. But it's like, you know, I thought we would have stayed really close. Or I thought, you know, we would have ended up in a relationship and then we didn't like at all i thought we would have gone the long haul there's definitely disappointment that's expressed and i feel like that is something that they would bring up to you um and i it, i feel like i'm looking at this situation kind of like one that got away missed opportunity type of vibe that's kind of like how this feel feels i don't feel like there's any there's any like deep sense of really like yearning for the situation it doesn't feel like that because i feel like let's just say there was moments of that I feel like they do allow it to flow and this does feel like there's either some time passed or they're looking at the situation maybe quite matter-of-factly so they're aware because I'm being shown like I'm holding a light so there's a level of emotion there towards you that I'm aware of that I'm allowing to just you, you know it's, it's something that's like inside of me I feel like I'm acknowledging you as somebody that I held a light for or maybe still do hold a light for um and there's like a kind of sadness on like how things kind of like came to be if that makes sense um because I do feel like this person has thought about the situation quite a bit I even feel like this person's gone through a phase of maybe like missing you or missing your presence um that's also something that i feel like they would actually pass on that they've missed your presence or they've missed spending time with you or they've missed having you around um because i do genuinely feel that happening um and it's very clear so they're very aware of it um again it doesn't feel like i'm festering over it or there's this grief um i'm just aware that i i have like missed you or you know it, it'd be good to see you type of thing like that's the type of feeling that i'm that i'm kind of being placed in there's such a hang up though on a missed opportunity so i don't know if this is a situation that just didn't turn into a relationship or it was just a very short-lived relationship maybe there were just circumstances that were beyond your control maybe this was a connection you had when you were younger and you both weren't maybe ready for it or maybe emotionally ready for it that's kind of like how it feels um 
but there's there's a lot of missed opportunity and with the knight of wands i kind of feel like i think that this person saw you as somebody that was very a very colorful person i think that you were somebody that brought a lot of fun to this person's life i think that this person because i feel like i haven't got to know you in the way that maybe I'd like meaning that maybe you didn't open up emotionally to each other too much and maybe that's something that they wish that they did or maybe this person wanted to see other aspects of your life or maybe you've grown and evolved since and they've missed those aspects like they've maybe watched from afar or maybe you know if they check up on you like they see that maybe you've like moved house or you're traveling or doing whatever and it's like I've kind of missed that like I've missed a big chapter in the book sort of thing um but with the knight of wands like I, I'm looking at you as somebody that's very colorful and I, I I feel like I I kind of want to be around for it type of thing um so there's kind of like a sadness there if that makes sense because it's almost like I feel like I'm looking at the situation like we might have been two passing ships in the night now this could have been a situation where if it was a relationship you wanted this person they didn't want you but then when they wanted you you didn't want them it could have been something like that um this could have been you were in a relationship and then they were in a relationship and then you were and then they were like that sort of thing um or maybe one of you was like healing when you met and it just wasn't the right time um again this could have been like a friendship where you were both maybe busy or one had to move to one country or one state or whatever it was and you know that happened i feel like there's circumstance but there's also like there's just so much going on um like there's a, there's a lot of fast like kind of like movement and now it's like quiet it's like oh i miss i miss that person because this person definitely sees you not being in their life as a loss with this five of pentacles um next to the king of wands like there's definitely a loss here um and i do feel like maybe this person because i feel like i'm looking back when i'm looking at the four of cups funnily enough like i feel like this is where we are i feel like i'm looking back and i feel like i um i don't even think that something fruitful would have even come from the past because it just wasn't the right time but then i still feel like there's a missed opportunity type of thing um it could even be that you burnt bridges a long time ago so now it's like water under the bridge no one's really angry at any one time has passed but it's like would there be the bridge isn't there anymore because it did genuinely burn you know what and we're too far down the river now like this kind of like that feeling it's like I went this way and you went that way that's kind of like how it feels or that's how they feel right now but there's still a lot of like light held for you I feel like they still look at you as a because I feel like I'm looking back in my life and I'm looking at you as a colorful person um I definitely feel like they were very attracted to you if this was a relationship so I feel like they found you very attractive um and I feel like they hold you in quite a high regard in, in that sense as well um and I feel like that's something they pass on to you as well so I feel like everything I'm saying I feel like they'd literally pass on to you like oh just you know this was a missed opportunity i did really like you or i had a lot of love for you like i feel like these are things that they'd say to you i just felt like time too much time had passed i didn't want to interrupt like that's the type of conversation i feel like this person would have i actually feel if you spoke to this person they would be quite open with you i don't think they'd fully like put their heart on the line um but i do feel like they'd be quite open in terms of like um emotion but they feel very matter of fact so there is like i'm not gonna lie it does feel like a little bit of a level of finality with this situation um because with the king of pentacles i feel like i've matured and i feel like i'm looking back and it's just like that was then this is now but like that was i do feel like that was a missed opportunity like something could have happened um i'm not really seeing that they would necessarily want to give it a go in their energy right now if this was a relationship just because it's not necessarily coming through um would they let me just see they're looking at it very matter of fact could be that they're already in a relationship or this could be like again if it's a friendship or family situation like this person could live quite far away from you now so it was like this is just a big stretch because i feel like what worlds apart almost and that could just be how this person views it maybe you're both in two different frequencies and in their mind it's just like we live two different lives you know like it could be that or they could be connected to spirit and just be like we're two different frequencies now um that could also be it um would this person want to go back to this situation does this person think about going back to this connection or situation we have the lovers does this person think about going back to this situation ace of cups well i mean it's still there you know um we also have the nine of 
swords and strength back of the deck you have the ace of swords The Lovers, the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and Strength. Okay. I feel... Okay. First of all, I do feel like they still think of you. And I feel like they still even feel into their emotions. They would have had to, right? To allow these feelings to flow out. So I definitely feel like they think of you. I definitely think they still think of you in like that kind of like romantic way. Um, and I do feel like they still would have more to give to you. Because if you look at this cup, it's attached to like another one. There's literally like a stream, which is funny because that's what we were talking about, the stream. So I feel like they still feel like there's a connection there. There's like an emotional kind of like connection there. I do still think that they feel that. But with the nine of swords there and the strength card, it's almost like a lot, a lot of water has gone under the bridge. So it's almost like... You know when you just follow your own energy and you follow your own intuition and you fall into alignment and it just takes you where you need to go? I feel like this person feels like that's what they've done. So they kind of feel like, what if I was to go back, would I be going back into like an old energy? Or would I be untying all of the work maybe I've done? Maybe this person had to heal from the situation. Maybe this person had to really clear and work through the situation. So they may feel like, would I be untangling it all? You know what I mean? Like, how would it work? I feel like they are still aware of, like, maybe what caused the fall with this Nine of Swords. Um, I wouldn't say there's too much worry. I know it is the Nine of Swords, but I wouldn't say there's too much worry, but they are aware of that. And it's like, well, what if? You know when you haven't been in a relationship for a while and it's like, what if I get hurt? Like, what? You have those kind of, like, worries. I feel like that's there, but I don't think it's enough that it would, like, fully stop this person because we have the ace of cups the lovers and like we have strength and then we have the ace of swords at the back of the deck they feel very emotionally mature so aware of their own emotions um i think they'd also be open in regards to like so now they had insecurities in the past of like what stopped them maybe like showing up for you or like maybe they didn't feel like they put in enough boundaries with you or whatever it was they'd be very open with some weaknesses that maybe they would have hidden before like, I felt this way, you know? I feel like they'd be quite open with it. Um, they feel very grounded. I feel like they've really grown. And this could be a situation from a long time ago. Could be asking about a relationship from, like, five years ago. Um, there's a lot of maturing on that part, I feel. Uh, I don't think... When I say, like, I'm not saying you haven't matured on your part. It's just I'm looking at their energy and I don't think they know fully what's up going on in your life. So they're still looking at you as, like, a rainbow with, like, new colours added. So they know you've grown and, like, evolved. Because they do feel aware of it too. Um, But they wouldn't know. I feel like I wouldn't know too much. I feel like this... It's funny. This pile feels the clearest. But this person... This pile also feels the most like we're on two different sides of the world type of thing well like we're in two different frequencies we're on two different hills but it also feels the clearest which is making me think that maybe time has passed or you both tend to do a lot of work or you both tend to work through your emotions um yeah that's what i'm being shown so let's pull your oracle cards pile number four what would pile number four's person say i feel like they'd be quite open honestly with feelings from i want to say back then insecurities all of that i feel like they'd be quite open to speaking about certain things we have doubt i release the need to know all the answers pile number four we have discipline i can accomplish what i set my mind to pile number four please spirit guides what would pile number four's person wish they said growth i want to expand my consciousness and my awareness and we have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. The back of the deck, you have change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. You've both grown and changed a lot. And I feel like that's something they've mentioned to you as well. Like, they've changed, they'd grown. I feel like they'd kind of give you the rundown of their life and things that would have changed. Um, I feel like they also might be a, a bit inquisitive with your life. Because I feel like I want to really ask you questions um and maybe ask you questions that i was scared to say before so they might ask like they might have wanted to know something in the past but didn't feel like they could ask and they may be like ask that if they were to speak to you so it's like there may be some pressing questions from the past that they may want answers to like you know it could be something like did you really like me or 
why are you talking to other people like it, it could be something like that or if there's a friendship or a family situation like it could be like um give me an example spirit from like a friendship or a, a family situation I still want to ask did you even like me like I still want to ask that I don't know why I feel like I want to know how you actually felt um towards me or how you felt about what I was doing in my life like that's kind of how I feel um yeah that's one thing that's coming through so with doubt yeah with doubt I, I feel like in the past there were things that they wish they would have asked or things that they wish they would have known that I feel like if you were to see them I feel like they'd ask those questions I feel like they just come out with it like did this actually happen or did you feel this way or um, were you hiding this from me like I feel like they'd ask those questions um I feel they're very emotionally mature now very emotionally mature I feel um and I feel like they've got really strong boundaries I wouldn't say they'd necessarily want to flex that with you but I don't know why I feel like that would be a worry for me stepping towards you so I need to have that level of boundaries so I don't know if it's just like they've held a light for you or you know they've got a soft spot for you so it's like gotta keep my head on it could literally be that um or I always you know over give to this person so I've got to keep these boundaries and it could be that for them um I, I don't think necessarily they'd say that though but I feel like in my mind I'm reminding myself like remember to just keep your head type of thing like that's how I feel for some reason um like I'm trying to keep like a level of control but still allow the feelings and the vulnerability to come out um but I feel like they would speak a lot about like their growth and um how they would have changed and how they would have um how they would have done things different and I think if they were open to a connection with you if you know they weren't already like in a relationship or they were like around you and they felt like it was a good get go for that I feel like they would really um what's the same take the bull by the horns I feel like they'd be very open and kind of do everything it feels what they think is the right way um that maybe they didn't have the courage to do before they didn't feel able to before um or maybe they wouldn't reach out to you or speak to you unless they knew that there was a clear path that's kind of like how it feels I feel very aware of what needs to, what, what would have needed to be changed or how I should have stepped towards this situation for it to actually flourish if that makes sense um so yeah I feel like there'd be like a really big catch-up with this person I feel like they'd have a lot to tell you or like show you and say to you um I feel like there'd be a lot of reminiscing I feel like they'd ask a lot of things that maybe they were scared to before um I feel like they talk about maybe where they went wrong as well. They might even bring up issues that you never knew that they had with you as well, that they never felt like they could say. Um, yeah, I feel like they'd be really transparent, to be honest with you, about how their feelings were from the past. And I do feel like this person genuinely did really like you as well. Um, whether it's friendship, relationship, I, I just feel this person had a lot of love for you. So pile number four, that is what I have for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed your reading. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching.